lovely sunrise there over the Valtra and their header. Anyway, they're on the way for this Zerion, so I'm going to take the inverter out of the cab. That actually came off pretty easy because two of the bits of glue hadn't stuck properly. That's that off, that off. A couple of bottles of water to get out of the cab. I think it's good to go back, check them out in the toolbox that's ours. Doesn't look to be. There's Ian. So Ian said he'd be here at half nine, ten o'clock. And I said to John, that is half eight. And here he is, 8.36, always early. Well, yeah. We've been in quiz intrigued by what's in these. Anyway, we've just opened them and the little toolbox is on the front. So we thought we'd do that before it went back. Just need that spanner to click them out. And then this side is another one. And I think the batteries might be underneath. Chad, you eat a bit. This weighs an absolute ton. Oh, where's the pin? Is the pin still in the shed? Oh. Got it. Is it heavy? Just a bit. We're going bottom hole. Oh. oh. That's it. It's a little bit stiff. It's got weight. It's a bit awkward. Put your hand in there. That's it. I then put that into there. Bit more, bit more. I don't go anymore. Because eh? we're in a bottom hole. Ah, oh, after you go to swap holes. Oh, two hand job. <laughs> Combine got excited when it saw it and it thought it was going on its holidays again. Anyway, let's, this loaded up. You want it on forward, so I was going to spin the cab and drive it on backwards, but maybe we just spin the cab anyway. Because see what happens with the indicators you've obviously got like left and right indicators but i wonder what happens when you turn the cab around whether they they swap over all right we've got the left hand indicator on there now so we'll leave it on and then we'll unlock the cab And then we'll go up with the cab. That's still flashing left. And then spin. Oops, wrong way, that way. Spin the cab round. I suppose it still would flash left in here. Put the track to then. Right, that's right round there now. Go back down with that one. Oh, it's flashing quick now. Does that mean it's confused? Right, the cab has landed. Let's lock it. So let's see. Big space. Climb down the steps. Ah. So the indicators have actually gone off. So let's climb back in the cabin, turn them back to neutral and back on again and see what happens. That's flashing off. Oh, I'll put it back on again. Still. Maybe they just don't work when you turn it round. Let's go back down.
No, they don't, do they? That's really bizarre. I would have thought that it would have known that sunrise is still coming up. Unless, unless there's something not quite right with it. I don't know. Bizarre. It's quite big, this load deck, isn't it? You put bags of seed on it. What they do do, though, is they do what they call a forward control. So if you imagine the cabs just sat on this frame that spins on this ramp, if you made all them pipes longer, and then you make a frame over the top, you can sit the cab forwards, then the back here where you've got all this room, you put a tank for like slurry and stuff, like a slurry tanker or digestate. And cardboard off there. So that's, that's a good view of your linkage, isn't it? It's James watching out the window, he's still asleep. When you're this way round and you look back, it looks quite a long tractor. Down the road, see how quick it goes. Follow in the car bar. It's Frank off the road. Yeah, it's just like driving to the car bar. Let his bike overtake. This viewing platform is ideal for assessing flood damage. Perfect tool for it. So if you don't get stuck behind a cyclist, I can confirm that it does go the same speed backwards as forwards. I get off it. Hmm. In other news, Dave's chipping. I've just been folding the mirrors in. Forgot it had windscreen wipers on the side windows. Little blinds. Little roller blind. Can't really, can you? See it better there. There it is. Sort of here. And then that side. Little, like a catch. This is nearly de now. Just gotta take the rest of these, these off. We're doing them all in this shed, then we can just sweep up afterwards because there's clips everywhere. We've gotta take them all off the combine as well. Combine's loaded now off to get some straw for the riding stables up the road. 
It's a bit tight, will they fit out of there? Three I. Yeah, just. Just comes out of the gap. John's up here now, he's gonna drop this hay off. Hopefully I can fit it in the brick shed round the corner. Might have to move some sort of concrete, uh, some wooden divisions out of the way. Can't open that door any wider because it'll fall off its runners, but I'm hoping that this Merlot just, just fits in. And then I'm going to stack some of that hay in here. I'll have to fold that mirror. No, it's just gone. Right, I just need to move this division. Someone's had a division for horses, but hopefully get the time underneath. I can. That's lifted out of the ground of the screws. I'll just try and, try and spin it round now. Get this hay stacked in here. It's going. in bed with man flu or whatever so we told him to keep out of our way but probably woken him up moving all this hay and straw around the yard I thought that other shed with the straw in was a bit tight but this one's even tighter yeah, I'm just going to doze him in at least it'll smell better with hay in rather than horses Dave's been chipping but the belt's just stopped, it's just blocked up, we need to clean that out and while he's been clearing up a little bit the bolts have come out of that bottom cutting edge and he's dropped it here somewhere so we're just going to have to try and find it, I might get the Merlot bucket and scoop it up and drop it and see if we can see it that way could be anywhere but we don't want it going in the boiler, big 18 inch piece of steel or going in the, in the chipper it's still spinning, I'll go around with a rake and knock it off. That's unblocked now with this. Shaking through this wood chip to try and see if we can find this plate that's fell off the bottom of the grab. It's pretty big, it's about two foot by eight inch. So we should be able to find it. That's what he does, finds it that size. That looks like it. You wouldn't want that bit of hard metal going through the chipper, would you? When you look at the size of it. Found it! Dave's just sweeping up with his uh, broom. I'm going to quickly take the digger up to Wellbrook because we're going to go up there for another load of straw. But while we finish chipping this week, we won't be using this for a week, so we'll take it up with the grab so we can do a bit more tagging up on some of the bigger stuff. Just fill it in case it slides off. This is the nice thing about this low loader, having the ramps from here, you can make sure that the ramps don't hit the boom as you lift it up. Just loading another load now for, this is going to go to Tom Pemberton's, but I'm just, this trailer could do with being a foot longer, to be honest, I've been talking to him about swapping it for a longer one, and Bill and Joe are interested in that one. Well, can, this 28 foot would be better 29 because when straw's been stored over winter the bales seem to just get that little bit longer somehow and they're always tight getting them in so this is why I'm putting this one in from the back on edge
extra ton on. This yard isn't standing up too well to this weather. Need to scrape it all off. Get some stone in. Just looks like there's some. A little update on the 7830. Morgan's been putting it back together today. Turbo's on. He's actually had it turning over. Everything seems fine. So we'll get that running tomorrow. Going to quickly do the birthday bum because there's loads today. Everyone must have been born on the 4th. So we've got Isla Florence. Snelson is 5. Andrew Douthwaite. Greg Sneef, I think. I think it's pronounced. Andrea Gree. Ali Ralston is 42. Queenie is 51. Michael Drive's on there. Michael Bamford's on there. He's 32. Michelle Boylan is 40, or Bowlin. Um, Phil Tailby is 44. Chris Walker is 28. Billy Beans Mills is on it, and Robert Irish is 10. So happy birthday, everyone, on it. And look at that, because there's so many, the amount's shot up. So nearly 56,000. So happy birthday, everyone, on it, and anyone else whose birthday it is today. What's supposed to happen is when you put a trailer in, it hits that, pushes that, and the pin drops down, and that handle hits your fingers as you do a demonstration. It's good that, isn't it? It's heavy one to do it with. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Hey. Anyway, that is it for today. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all tomorrow.